We're here at Sandown Canoe Lake. We're at the minute a team of volunteers working really hard to rescue what's believed to be not only an endangered species of eel, but also several carp which are left in the river. Now, there's been a lot of fatalities in terms of the carp today and over the past couple of days. This isn't a new situation. The council have been aware of this for a while as of the Environment Agency, but it has come to the team of volunteers working really hard, like I say. At the moment, they're constructing a tank which is currently holding what's left of the remaining carp. We're also uh, erecting a sunshade to try and keep the carp that have survived so far cool under the sun, which is currently around 28 degrees today. That's contributing to the uh, lowering water level in the lake. Well, what they're doing today is they're going towards the back of the canoe lake because that's what's draining fast and they're working their way back because the fish are getting stuck in the mud. So they're going to get stuck in the mud and the water levels are dropping, which means they're not getting enough oxygen so they potentially will die and they can't put them back in there even if it does refill because there's a worry it might go back like it. Any live? Any live ones? They're all live in that bucket. I've highlighted the fact that because of the hot weather we're going to lose the fish in this lake last Friday because I did a video of the actual uh, depths that uh, were there and uh, it was already obvious that there was a, a situation that needed resolving and I just came up against brick wall after brick wall after brick wall from the council and so I made a post on Sandown Hub say, explaining to people what was happening and uh, this is what happened people blocked out we, we alerted the uh, landowner of the situation. Uh, the landowner responded with um, passion and care and asked us to um, assist in the removal of the fish if we could. We've made um, a temporary holding tank um, which is oxygenated and um, with the pH levels and the right levels etc. The fish have um, responded very well, the rescued fish from dead and basically dead and dying fish are now vibrant once again but there's a delay, there's a delay between agencies and the council. Um, we've done our bit, we've rescued the fish as much as we can. Um, and now it's just down to authority. The fish are healthy in there, they're swimming, they're, they're happy. Um, Whether we can stick any more in is a different thing, isn't it? Because so long as we're oxygenating yeah. that water and the levels are, are correct and, and in keeping within those levels, we're happy that the fish are going to thrive. We haven't recovered dead any, they're still out there rotting. Um, we're obviously concerned about the livestock at the moment. So in there we've got a hundred fish at least. And I would say they're, they're really the prime fish, aren't they? They're the biggest ones. So the smaller stuff, if it can live, in, in the shallow shallower water they've got more, they've got a chance but even if it rained now it's, it's, it's about the heat in the water it's about the depth of the water and it's about the oxygen in the water all three things have to be right for these fish to exist until them fish are in, in a safe environment I, I feel like I failed let's just get them safe get them tested get them safe get the certificates whatever and, and just get them safe and then look at the long-term aspect so something needs to be done